In previous video, we have successfully discovered the FortiGate firewall in FortiManager. It was an easy task because the FortiManager and the FortiGate firewalls are running with the same firmware version, which is 7.2.1. And in FortiManager, you can easily verify the host name, system uptime, system status, and other elements. Let me show you how you can verify click on techno cafe because this is the device we have discovered so here you can see host name of the device ip address of the device system uptime and firmware version which is 7.2.1 and other aspects also the firewall is running in nat mode you can see that the firewall is perfectly synchronized with forty manager you can see the CPU status of the firewall. You can see the memory status of the firewall. Now it's time to onboard the remaining two firewalls here in Forty Manager. But the important point is my remaining two firewalls are running with the older version that is 6.4.4. The above two firewalls are running with version 6.4.4 and the bottom one is running with the latest version 7.2.1 and that has already been onboarded in Forty Manager. So the question is does the Forty Manager which is currently running with the latest version support these old firewalls to onboard or does this reject the onboarding process? Let me log in on each device one by one and will show you the firmware version of each devices. So let me open the secure CRT. So this has so this has the port number 32772. Okay, username admin, password is 123. Now let's check the firmware version of this firewall. So the command is get system status so you can see the 40 gate firewall is running with version 6.4.4 so now the next firewall is this one which is 192.168.1.60 and it has the port number 32771 let me log in here also and execute the same command get system status so this firewall is also running with 6.4.4 so my both the firewall has old version 6.4.4 and my party manager have the latest version which is 7.2.1 so let's see how you can onboard the legacy firewalls in party manager by doing some tweaks and if you want to make this process happen successfully in your lab environment, please pause the video carefully to understand the concept of onboarding the legacy devices in Forty Manager. Okay, now it's time to onboard the legacy Forty Gate firewall in Forty Manager. So let's go to the Forty Manager. I'm again repeating before onboarding the firewall in Forty Manager, I would recommend you to check the basic ping connectivity between Forty Manager and legacy FortiGate firewalls. So I don't have reachability related issues among these devices. Let me show you. So go to the firewall one and execute the ping command for Forty Manager. So I'm able to access Forty Manager from the firewall one. Now I'm going to try from the firewall 2 and it's working. So here you have to follow the same process to onboard the legacy device that we have already used. So here you have to click on add device. Then you have multiple options to discover the device. The first one is discover device. Second one is add model device. Third one is add model HA cluster. And the last one is import model devices from CSV file. So I'm going to use the very first one, which is discover device. So here you have to supply the IP address of the firewall, 
which is 192.168.1.60 and don't forget to use option use legacy device login because we are going to onboard legacy device so so click here and supply the login credentials click next oops you can see it has encountered an error message or oh, failed it means it means we have missed something related to the configuration either on 40 manager or 48 or both let me tell you how you can fix this issue by applying these settings on 40 manager and 48 firewall so let me cancel this process for now and go to the firewall first So let's first verify the interface settings. So system interface. So this is 50 and we are going to discover 60. So system interface. So configuration wise is absolutely fine. You can see the IP address is 160 and it has allowed FGFM service, fabric and probe response. No issue at all. Now let's verify the centralized management configuration and you can verify this setting by using the command. So system central management. Okay, so here you have to supply one command. So let me go into central management and the command is set encryption algorithm default and, and let's verify the configuration once again. So system central management, that's fine. Now the point is why is this command here and how will it help here? So basically it will allow the 40 gate firewall to accept any encryption probe sent by the 40 manager. If I say if the 40 manager uses higher encryption to reach the 40 gate firewall, then the 40 gate firewall will accept the probe and respond. If in case the 40 manager uses a lower encryption method to reach the 40 gate firewall, then the firewall will accept the probe and respond. Now let's check the settings for 40 manager. Let me access the 40 manager. So, so system, so the command is so system global. So let me explain the command one by one. So we are going to disable the daylight saving time process with this command. The second command says use the SSL protocol version v3. The third command is set host name 40 manager okay that you already know and I'm going to use the time zone 47. So the time zone 47 reflects the IST time zone which is plus 530. Let's see with this settings whether we can discover the 40 gate firewall in 40 manager. So let's go to the 40 manager. Let me log in first. Click on device manager. Now you have to click on add device. Choose the option discover device. Supply the IP address of the 40 gate firewall. Use the option legacy device login supply the login credential and then next so still it has encountered an error message which is saying pro failed let's go back to the 40 manager and 40 gate device to check any settings that need to be changed so this time i'm going to reduce the encryption method from the 40 gate manager so the command is config system global and 
set FG FM SSL protocol and let me use the lower one click and that's it let's now discover the device once again click on add device discover supply the IP address click here admin one two three Oops, it has encountered the same error message again. Let's troubleshoot and fix this issue. So let me first verify the configuration. So, so system global. So we have changed the SSL protocol. And okay, one more settings, we need to do it. So config system global and we need to tell 40 manager use the lower encryption method so set encryption low and and then supply the setting so let's verify the configuration once again so system global so we can see the encryption algorithm is low protocol is TLS v1 and apart from these settings I would recommend you to synchronize the time zone across the devices if not use the NTP settings across the devices let me verify the interface settings of the firewall once again so system interface absolutely fine let's go back to the 40 manager and discover the device once again so click on add discover device supply the IP address don't forget to use this option supply the login credentials hooray now we can see the IP address of the device and the host name of the firewall as well as the serial name as well as the serial number of the firewall what you have to do is you have option you can choose the system template or if you don't have the system template leave it none and then click on next it will take a time to complete the process okay finish so you can see here the 40 gate firewall has been onboarded successfully which is running with which is running with the version 6.4.4 so i have one more firewall here which is 192.168.1.50 .1 and it has the same firmware version which is 6.4.4 let's discover this one so basically I have supplied the recommended settings on firewall so click on add device discover supply the IP address use the login credential click next it's up to you whether you want to add the system template if you don't have the system template ready just leave it none you can verify the host name IP address serial number platform build number click on next and it will take some time to complete the onboarding process click on finish so you can see the second firewall is also discovered or onboarded in 40 manager which is also running with version 6.4.4 okay we have successfully onboarded all three firewalls in 40 manager 
and the first firewall is running with the build 7.2.1 the second one is running with 6.4.4 and the third one is running 6.4.4